you use two cups. They can be any kind of cups. They don't have to be fancy magic store cups. Um, you know where to get these. Two little sponge balls. They're kind of foam balls that you can get from dollar stores and two larger ones. The two larger ones you keep off to the side either in your uh, uh, servant or in your pockets just within easy reach. I happen to look down uh, I think probably earlier. Now you secret, you keep one of the little balls hidden like so. so you keep it like this unbeknownst to people. You also have your magic wand which you're going to use for misdirection as shown earlier. You show the two cups when you're misdirecting, in other words, showing this one, for example, and then placing it down, you're actually tipping the little ball from your hand into here. So you're placing this down as actually an extra ball. So you do what we call a pass, so you're actually holding on to the ball. You're pretending to put it in there. You use the wand to further misdirect. Gone. Here it is over here. That's how you do it. Then you just keep doing it. While you're taking this one and then showing this one to add it in, you drop the little ball that was in this hand into the cup so it's all good to go. You place it down. You take that one. Your job is almost done. It's so easy. Tap, tap. Boom. It looks like it passed through. Now what you have in this one is the extra ball. You don't have to worry about it. You place it down. This time, you place this on top. You do a pass. And there it is over there. Then in the um, effect, while you're explaining how it's done, you can actually fool the maybe as well. So you secret or you steal one of these extra balls. You take the cup like so. You load, you drop that ball in there. Then as you're kind of explaining how to do it, and, and saying, okay, there was always an extra one, and you place that one in there, boom. And they're all surprised. They see two there. You take the second load, the, the larger ball, you place it there, you misdirect, you talk, and you go, but how do you explain these two? I think if you play with that and you see that it's always one ahead, wow, no problem. Check out Cups and Balls routines on YouTube and books, etc. You can't go wrong if you love this.